Just to give you a little background, I uh, was hired to replace somebody who had been doing this job for about 25 years, four years ago. I'm starting my fourth year now. I'm Pat Lord. I'm a professor in the biology department. I teach, but I also um, direct the pre-health professions program at Wake Forest, which is a program to advise students who are thinking about medical school or dental school. I'm Julie Tingen. I'm an instructional technologist. Um, so the reason that, uh, or our problem was that uh, students uh, that are thinking about medical school or dental school, when they got to be juniors or seniors, would apply to our health professions committee. I've only been doing this job for three years, going on four years, and I took over from a person who um, was into paper and pencil. And so everything, all their applications were paper, were given to the committee as paper. Um, also, students didn't keep a record of most things, um, and so we're busily crafting this application usually the night before it was due. And the quality of their reflections, the quality of the transformative learning that they had experienced from any of their experiences, volunteering in the hospital, shadowing physicians, working, leadership, were lacking. Um, and I really felt like there was a need to make this a lot easier on me so that I wasn't collecting all the paper products and getting them to the committee. Um, also some way to start students thinking about this much earlier from the time they're freshmen. Not that there are boxes to check off, but how to really demonstrate that learning, that passion that they tell me they all have, but seem to have a difficulty uh, demonstrating in their writing. And um, <clears throat> when Pat realized that she had this need, she adopted this program from someone else, another professor. Um, she, she said, how can I make this process easier? I know technology can do this for me. We have technology for this. And um, a, a lot, there was a lot of focus on what we needed to collect. The, the two things that I remember her saying to me is, the committee focuses on grades, and <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of students asking me, why do I need the, to do this to get into medical school? And so it was clear that they, they, needed, to, they needed a process. And that, this, that, that what needed to come out of this needed to be presented to the uh, committee in a holistic manner about what the student had experienced. I'm actually in the arts and we were connected because I have expertise in portfolios. So it's a, it was an interesting connection uh, across disciplines, but uh, we, we knew we needed a vendor. So yes, and the vendor, Jolie had met Janice several times, mm -hmm. and the vendor was Janice Smith of Three Canoes, who has been wonderful. I've learned, <laughs> I, it's been such a learning process for me. I've learned so much from her, and she's really challenged me. She was not somebody who just created something for us based on what I told her, but really made me think about what I wanted my end product to look like, and then work backwards from there. Um, so funding came from our dean, um, which was wonderful, Jackie Fetro, um, and has, she has been very supportive of this, which is key, I think, in any kind of system to be able to do this. Um, so we started with sort of thinking about what we wanted the end product to look like, the showcase portfolio that would go to the committee, how to make it easier for the committee to see everything without flipping pages in a PDF or hunting for things, something clearly labeled across the top, with grades sort of at their prerequisite courses sort of at the end, so that would not be seen initially. And then work backwards from there. Um, I think one of the biggest things for me, one of the biggest challenges, was thinking about what are the qualities of an ideal healthcare professional? Whether they're thinking about medical school or dental school, how can I help them think about the experiences that are necessary. So we came up with, or I came up with, about 11 broad categories. Everything from, of course, true healthcare experience, shadowing, volunteering, whatever, um, leadership, um, one we call out of your comfort zone experience, which all anybody in the health professions is always often gonna be out of their comfort zone. So how do you demonstrate that you can handle that? Um, the ability to have a commitment to your community, to be able to demonstrate service, that you are empathetic and altruistic. Um, so we came up with definitions of what an ideal healthcare professional not just would have done, but would have learned from these experiences. Um, and that's in the portfolio. They can very quickly find it as they're looking down the matrix of the different experiences. Um, and they just have to hover over 
the experience title and it will tell them, okay, these are the characteristics. I spend a lot of time coming up with a rubric, not for my committee to use because my committee's members, they have full-time other commitments. They're not gonna wanna spend that kind of time doing that. But for me to provide feedback to the students as they are writing their experience to say, aha, you've got it, or all you've done is told me what you've done, and that's not demonstrating your learning. Um, and the students have received it very well. Um, they've also helped us. Um, so they can, in their experiences, they create drafts, can send it to me for reflection, comes to me via email, very quickly can click on a box to say, uh, excellent confidence, good confidence, confidence, or no confidence. And those are the same confidence levels we use for their entire application. So it will help them in terms of reflection um, and preparation for their application. They can do it as they have finished the experience. So say for example, freshman year, somebody goes home and shadows a physician over winter break. They can do it right then, instead of waiting till spring of their junior year or senior year when they would normally apply, and they can also get feedback from me while it's very fresh in their mind. When they are finished, uh, satisfied with the feedback that I've given them and or the ranking that they've gotten, they can then move it over to a final column, which is for the final entry in their health professions application. Creating the portfolio is a very seamless process because um, the portfolio is auto-populated by the matrices, so the data that's in the forms. So it comes through, uh, there's, there's just no effort involved. But what's I think really nice about the way the whole process is designed is it, it is based on their application to medical school. So all of this data will fit perfectly in their application. So when they're done with their portfolio, they're kind of done with their application as well. So rather than scrambling at the last minute, trying to collect all of this stuff and trying to write this really wonderful personal statement um, that summarizes their experience over four years, um, you know, it's they're ready. Um, and and I, they recognize the value in that.